Okay, so well-known truth on the YouTube, uh, and I know I'm gonna have arguments with Vino again and maybe Tim, but I am keep saying I'm the biggest fan of Drumby. You don't know nothing about it, but no. it's been going for ages. So to prove the point, I'm bringing back some Drumby cocktails again. Now and then, every few months, I bring some cocktails. And today we're gonna do a wonderful drumby and coffee mix things, okay? So, mm -hmm. do you like drumby? You're not sure? Not sure, not sure. That's a very good point because yeah. I don't think she... Do you ever had drumby in your life? Probably not. I don't think so. Probably not. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm, I'm sure you don't like whiskey. <laughs> mm? <laughs> no. <laughs> I smell it. It doesn't smell bad, isn't it? Mm. So basically, for those of you who doesn't know Drumby, it's a scotch with heather honey. So it's more on the liqueur side. It's a wonderful sip on its own, but have fantastic cocktails, which you can see some of the cocktails on the channel here, like the Rusty Nail, or maybe watch the video which we did with Vino from 60 Seconds Cocktail. Uh, I think he changed the channel now, but I'll figure out that. Uh, we did three cocktails each. So yeah, today I'm bringing more Drumby cocktails and they gonna be all paired with coffee. So if you're ready for some I'm ready. If you're ready for some she forgot again. <laughs> oh so <laughs> if you're ready for some shakes there and, and sips, sipping carry on watching. Exactly. And We're gonna roll the intro and it will be back. <laughs> Alright? <laughs> All right, boys and girls, so today we're doing three again, <laughs> every time, three. We're going to do a drumby cold latte, let's put it that way. Uh, you see there's a little twist on it. Uh, we're going to do a drumby uh, and coconut paloma, which have coffee as well. And of course, we're going to do a very famous old school cocktail, which is basically it's made with gin, coffee and tonic, but today we're gonna do drumby, coffee and tonic. And yeah. Yeah. Nif, mm -hmm. you're starting with the first one. So grab, grab the small glass, you need a kind of a like old fashioned glass, rock glass. And we're gonna start with a 50 ml of the drumby. Straight in. That's a 40, where's my measure? What on earth is that? Give me a second, be back now. There you go. So we start with 50. 50, 50. ml, yeah. So it's very, easy peasy cocktail. So you start with the drumby, then we're gonna fill up the glass with ice and it's equal measure of the milk and the coffee. So it's simple as that. But we're gonna do a little twist here because if you go on drumby page or a website you're gonna see this kind of coffee. But I think we can do a little bit better, okay? So to do it a little bit better you have two choices. You can use Cardinal Mendoza which is a orange liqueur based on a Cardinal Mendoza brandy, so this is called Angelis. Or if it's not available in your neck of the wood, <laughs> use Grand Marnier, okay? Which is still equally good. So from that, only 15 mil. 15? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is gonna bring a little bit of orange flavor. The brandy is gonna pair fantastic with the drum beauty. So you're winning situation. It's a quite boozy coffee, let's put it that way. So, uh, I think that glass won't be enough, isn't it? No. No. We've done it again. We've done it again. <coughs> we want it to look pretty, but obviously we've done it wrong. And mm -hmm. that's a, see what's happening. That's a live filming. So, we're gonna change it. And you're not gonna realize anything about it, okay? It's just gone. <laughs> we all make mistakes, so there you go. A little bit more ice. There now, there's your milk, 50 mil. 15. 50. 50. 50, yeah, it's 50, 50, 50. So, equal measure with the drum beauty. There you go. And finally, your coffee. 50. 50. Beautiful. Now, give it a gentle stir. Yeah. And you can add just a few more cubes of ice, and we're ready. Simple as that. 
It doesn't need garnish because obviously it's a coffee, it's like a cold latte. Beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Mm. Yum. Oh, that's. Ooh. Right, come on. You say never test drum beauty, or you don't know if you like it. Is that a, a good way to start with drum beauty? Hmm? That's really nice. It is, isn't it? Yeah. You don't feel any mm. of the whiskey in the drum beauty. I mean, you don't feel it anyway. But yeah. with this little orange hint from the Angelic. Angelus. Angelus. <laughs> Angelus, it's cold, or like I say, you can use Grand Marnier because I'm pretty sure it's not available everywhere. It depends where you are, but the Grand Marnier will be available worldwide. Okay, so that's our first one, like the Jambi cold latte. Let's put it that way. Yep. So we put it on the side. Now I'm gonna jump in and make. I'm gonna jump in <laughs> <laughs> and make a very weird. Where are you going? Oh, Stay sorry. here. Where sorry. are you going? Sorry. Stop, stop you going were jumping out. in. Yeah, I'm jumping in. But anyway, so again, 50 ml of the drum beer. So as I say, no shaking, no nothing. There you go. And then we have coconut tequila. So this is cascabel coconut. I don't know again if you have anything in your neck of the wood, coconut. What you can do, you can get tequila and maybe infuse it with the coconut. Simple as that. It doesn't take much, okay? So just 15 ml again of the coconut tequila. Beautiful. Then we go with an ounce of pink grapefruit juice. Or 30 ml. I'm gonna fill it up with ice. Ooh. To break this ice a little bit. Give it a gentle stir. Because we're gonna need a little bit more ice here. That's it. Top up with ice. 15 ml of coconut water, just to elevate the coconut, but obviously without introducing any more ABV. Again a little stir, so everything you can prepare just directly in the glass. Wonderful. Are you okay? Yeah. You're just smiling, yeah? Yeah, I'm just watching. Just, just smiling. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, you're probably expecting to top up with soda or something because Paloma, we're not doing this. We're gonna go with an ounce of coffee. coffee. Yeah, coffee and paloma and coconut and grapefruit. Wondering how this is gonna test. It's gonna test fantastic. Look at that beauty. Again, gentle steer. Now, if you're fancy, you wanna go extra mile, put a slice of uh, grapefruit or you can grapefruit zest on the top, whatever. For me, it's more important what it's in the glass. But if you do kind of a presentation, you want to impress your guests, feel free. Let's see how it tastes there. Your brain think coffee, grapefruit, coconut. It's not. Just, just go for it. I mean, literally, that's that's a wonderful drink. Oh wow! Where's the tequila? Exactly. <laughs> it's really so nice. good, guys. So you can drop a few cubes of ice on the top. And as I say, if you're fancy to garnish it with something, just go for it. But as it is, just beautiful. 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 Right, final. Come on. <laughs> one more before people get fed up. Mm -hmm. So last one. As I mentioned, we're going to do... Is it only me talking today? Yeah, I don't really know what we're doing there. I know, yeah, so, that's a fair point, yeah. that's a fair point, because I just throw her, I said, we're doing, we're doing drum yeah, drum okay. coffee stuff, and she's like, yeah, I'm come on, on it, <laughs> without knowing what's happening, <laughs> so 50 ml of that, that's it, 50 drum I mean, if you want to go higher, I'm not going to judge you, it's absolutely fine, but if you want to stay with our 
recommendation, just stay with our recommendation. There you go. So you just give it a gentle stir, just to mix them. Yeah. Go on the other side, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's easier, right? I'm just gonna to top up with some tonic water. And there you go. It's pretty. Yeah, you see that one? Mm. Give it a little more. So that's what you have it. Drumbean coffee and tonic. I like gin, coffee and tonic, so I like it, but well, I, I need to know what you like. It's very weird because it's very light. Again, you feel more it's the really coffee nice. and the tonic yeah. than the drum beer. Yeah, I can't taste any. I know, and it's quite good measure inside, 50 ml. You know what I mean? That's nearly two ounces of drum beer inside. Mm. It's really light. It is. So there you go. Let's just top it up a little bit yep. more. Wonderful. So we have drum beer tonic, coffee and tonic. <laughs> then we have drum beer, coffee, coconut, paloma. It's just so long to say. <laughs> and uh, finally, we got our lovely cold drambu latte. So, yeah. Maybe I like drambu now. I think you do. <laughs> Vino and Tim, we have one more in the team now, okay? So the team is full now. <laughs> if you like drambu and uh, if, you're, if you want to mm. kind of go against us as the biggest drambu fans, good luck with that. <laughs> But yeah, we, we love and really uh, good. Yeah. Good, yeah. Which one you prefer? Most? The last one. The last yeah. one? Whoa. That's a good one. Yeah. I didn't expect that. All but, yeah. of them. They're all good, yeah. but yeah. One, two, three. Very light, fruity, kind of a bittery, mm -hmm. weird in a nice way. Latte, you know, I mean, who doesn't like cold coffee with a little punch? It's absolutely fine. So Enjoy your Enjoy. week. Enjoy your drambui. Go get some drambui, some coffee. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Have fun. Make your boss a nice latte. <laughs> okay? Just make him a nice latte. You're going to love you forever. I'm telling you. All right? We are off now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.